Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Going to have a great demo for you today. Please go to my website to uh, learn the latest dashboard template techniques. Today is going to be a sample that a user from an Excel forum wanted to see. Looking for a minimum and maximum line for price to earnings ratio uh, and want some different data points for industry and company with different data markers. Uh, and we've got the values as well. Um, compared to the line. So let's go ahead and see how we can make this chart. Uh, so first you want to set up your data such that um, it's just easy to get to. It doesn't really have to be in this exact format, but it's uh, what I find is easy to understand. I'm going to select a blank cell in the chart or in the area of the spreadsheet and I'm going to select insert menu, scatter, and I'm going to choose a scatter of straight lines and markers chart. So this will become apparent a little later later. Uh, you can see it's a blank chart now because I had a blank cell that we clicked on to start the chart. Um, so we are going to go ahead and add some data. So on the design menu, you've got the select data uh, uh, button. We're going to go ahead and add a data point. We're going to choose the series name for the entire line as just the company name that one case, way in case we need to give it a value. We'll have that name we can always use. We're going to select minimum to maximum values for the x values and minimum to maximum for the y values. This is going to create a line along the y value of 1, as you can see down below, uh, for points from 4 to 50, which are our min and maximum range. Let's go ahead and click on OK, and let's just keep adding data points here. Um, we're going to add a maximum data label. So we're going to just create a point out there at the maximum at the end of the line um, for the data point max PE. We're going to do this so that we can give it a series name equal to the max PE label. Uh, and we're going to have to do the same thing for the minimum. Otherwise, we can't get the labels to appear right just using the line that we've already created. So let's do that for the minimum price to earnings. Uh, we're going to select our label. We're going to select the X value and the Y value. And there we have created a data point on the left side of the line at the minimum. Let's go ahead and add now our data points for the company price to earnings ratio. Once again, we're just selecting the X value and the Y value for that specific data point. And you'll see that as a little teeny star out there on the chart. Um, and then let's uh, go ahead and add the industry price to earnings comparison data point. So we'll click on add, select industry PE, the X value of 25, the Y value here of one. Now I'm just choosing all these ones so that we can change these and move these up or down on the Y axis as we choose. Okay, let's click on OK. We've added all our data points with it. We want to see there's that last one. There's the ones for the mins and the max. Let's click on OK. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to format the line. Um, so we want to make sure the line is right. So let's select the line and you can see it's selected up above. It's got the X and the Y values. We're going to go up to the layout ribbon. From the layout ribbon, we are going to choose format selection over in the current selection area. And we now have format uh, data points. So we're going to change the markers and we're going to select none. We don't want any markers for the line because we've created those for separate labels. Uh, and but let's change the line color as well, make it look close to what the user wanted by selecting line color, solid line, and then choosing a uh, light bluish color. So that's all we really need to do for the line. But let's keep this open because we can keep selecting every data point uh, and just keep formatting them. So let's select our first data point, the minimum, and you can see it selected it up above. Uh, we are going to change the marker option uh, for this because we don't want a marker option for this. You know, uh, initially I was thinking, oh, well, let's change it to um, an endpoint or something. It's like, no, the, the user wanted none. So we're going to change this marker option. And we're going to do the same thing for the maximum point as well. We're going to change that marker option to none because we're really just using these for labels. Um, so we don't need to show the markers at all. So marker options, none. And now let's go ahead and modify some of these other markers. So this one right here is the company price to earnings ratio. Let's change that from the star marker it's going under marker options. And we're going to choose the built-in option for a triangle, which is what the user wanted. And we're getting pretty close. Let's change the color. They wanted the color to be pretty close to the line, so let's choose the solid color for the marker fill. And we're going to choose this light blue color right here. Now, uh, we need to, um, it had a darker blue line around the marker, so let's change the marker line color to a little darker. 
make it stand out just a little bit. And uh, next, we are going to do that same thing to the industry line. We're going to do marker options, but instead of choosing the triangle, they wanted a square or a rectangle. So we're going to choose that from the built-in types. We're going to change the marker fill to that light blue, solid fill, the light blue. Um, and then we're going to change the marker line color to that darker uh, blue line to accent the, the line. So um, we've got everything pretty much set up for our line. Oops, must have missed a data point here. So instead of, let's take that and get rid of that one and get rid of that marker as well so that we just have a line showing with our two industry and company PEs. So it's looking pretty good. Um, now we need to go ahead and close this down because we want to add some data labels. So go out to the layout menu when selecting the chart, select data labels, and let's put them above. Now Excel is going to take our Y values and thinks that that's what we want for our data point labels. Well, that's not what we want. Let's customize these. I'm going to click on the data label that I, any one, I'm going to select data labels, more data label options, and now you can see it's selected as the Y value. Well, we want the series name and the X value, which shows uh, what the number is, and we're going to change the separator to a new line so that you see industry PE above and the number 25 below. Um, so we do that because we want to show, that's why we created these as separate series. We're going to do the same thing to the other uh, the company one, we're going to select the series name, the X value, and new line. Uh, but you know what we forgot to do on the last one is change the number. Let's create a custom number format. So if you check number, click custom, do pound X, that's going to show whatever the number is with the letter X afterwards, which represents two times, or 12 times, uh, is their company's price to earnings ratio. So. Uh, you'll see that there's now 12x out there. We need to do that on our previous label, so let's go select number, custom, and add that pound x um, back on that one as well. And now you can see it out there. Uh, so let's uh, select another data point, um, and we're going to go ahead and make it the series name, x value, get rid of the y value, and add the separator of a new line. But since this is the rightmost data point, let's put it to the right, give it a little definition. And uh, we need to change the number to put 50x. So we've got that pound x in there. And we go ahead and add, added that. Let's click on the other uh, on one of the other data points. See that one hanging out there? That is a data label from the line. We don't want it. Let's just select it and hit our delete key. Gets rid of both of them. And now we're going to do the minimum one uh, over on the left. Select the series name. Get the x value. Let's move it to the left. Let's add a series uh, break for the separator, and they'll change the number to that custom number format. So we're getting pretty close here. We've almost got it done as to what they want. Really all we need to do is clean up the chart. Uh, we've got all the data points that they're looking for, so let's get rid of the Y axis. I'm going to right click on it and show you just there's lots of ways to do this. Uh, first one is right click and just click on delete. There it goes. Uh, to get rid of the X axis, I'm just going to click on it and then hit my delete key. And then over on the um, legend, let's get rid of the legend. And likewise with the grid lines. Select the grid lines and hit your delete button. And as you can see, it looks really close to what the user wanted. Let me just uh, kind of reshape this since we don't need all that chart area. Uh, let me copy this and take this over to the sample that the client wanted. And as you can see, looks darn close. It's not an exact match, but it's, it is darn close. And, and the client was very happy with this. Um, next episode, I'll show you how to make custom markers so that we could have that bigger triangle um, or the bigger square uh, rectangle on this. So once again, thanks for looking at my demonstration on how to make a price to earnings comparison chart using Excel. Please visit excel-boardtemplates.com for all the latest tools, tips, and techniques to make your executive dashboards and charts look amazing. Hope to see you there. Once again, excel-boardtemplates.com. Don't forget to sign up for my RSS feed and my email feeds so that you're sure to get the latest and the greatest. Thanks a lot.